In all of our lessons so far, when we've wanted to update the document object model, we've been doing so in an imperative way using methods like document.createElement. You'll probably agree that working with these methods directly is a rather ad hoc and laborious process. So now that you know how these DOM methods work, I'm going to introduce a framework built on top of them that provides abstractions for a more declarative style of manipulating the DOM. That framework is called View, and it has a number of important features. First, it is reactive, meaning that when the value of some data is changed, View reacts and automatically updates the DOM without you having to manually do anything. Second, it is progressive, meaning that it's not an all or nothing framework. It adapts to your needs, whether that's a simple UI task or a large scale web application requiring core libraries such as Vuex and Vue Router. Third, it supports components, which allow you to extend basic HTML elements to encapsulate reusable code. So how does it work? Well, we create what's called a view instance, which is used to control a division of your web page. That division could be a form, an image carousel, or anything else you can imagine. We also have a view model, VM, storing data that is relevant to that division. And then the view instance binds them together. And what this means is that when the data changes in the view model, the HTML in the division is automatically updated. This is best shown by example. What I'm going to do is use view to manage a simple application that greets a person and displays their favorite quote. First, I'm going to create a template that I want view to control, giving it the unique ID app. And then inside this template, I want view to reactively update some data, which I can indicate using double curly braces, also known as mustache syntax. Before any such interpolation happens though, I need to actually include the view framework itself. The website has a number of different versions. We're going to be using view two, and in particular, the development version of it, which includes warnings and debugging information. With the view framework included, we can go ahead and create our view instance. We do so by declaring a new view object, which I'm storing in this variable called VM, standing for view model. Inside this instance, we identify the block of code that we want to mount, which is this template we identified using the ID app. We also declare some data that we want to be added to View's reactivity system. And here, our property names are going to be person and fav quote, which ensures that they will be bound with the placeholders in the app template. When I refresh the page, you'll see that the mustache syntax has been replaced with the contents of the specified data. At this point, you might think, so what? Well, let's go into the console and change the value of person, which I can do so using vm.person. You can see that view reacts to this change and automatically updates the DOM, just like magic, no manual effort required on your part. Likewise, the DOM is automatically updated if I update the quote. And that's Fuse reactivity system in a nutshell. It's an incredibly powerful and convenient abstraction. Before we move on, I'd like to point out that Vue has its own developer tool that you can install as a Chrome extension, and I highly recommend it. Once you've installed it, you can access the tool via the View tab. This gives you another means of updating the data in the View instance and seeing the DOM automatically update. What I'd like to do now is extend the app so that it displays a quote at random taken from a larger selection. First, I'm gonna add an array of quotes to my data object. Give me a second to do that first. Next, I can access elements of that array using indices in the usual way, or I can even dump the whole contents of it to the page. Now, to select a quote at random, I can either write the code for it within this mustache syntax, or I can call a function from the view instance. I'm gonna go for the latter option, 
giving it the name getQuote. Within the view instance, I need to add a methods object, use getQuote as the property name, and then provide the function definition as its value. My function is first going to calculate the length of the quotes array, which in this case will be 3. Next, it needs to randomly generate a valid index, in this case either 0, 1 or 2. In order to do this, we can use the math.random function to generate a number between 0 and 1, excluding 1. Multiplying it by num quotes will transform it into a value between 0 and 3, excluding 3. Finally, math.floor will round it down to the next integer so that we get a value of 0, 1 or 2 only. Returning the quote at that position gives us the effect of a random inspirational quote of the day. And that's it for this mini video. We introduced the Vue front-end JavaScript framework, which is reactive, progressive, component-based, and allows for declarative rendering of the DOM. We created a view instance using new view and specified the element to mount, a data object, and a methods object. We looked at the HTML-based template syntax for binding with this mustache syntax. And finally, we showed how Vue reacts to data changes and re-renders automatically. See you next time.